This video will show you how to make a works cited entry in MLA 8th edition format for a website using EasyBib. Now the first thing you might have a question about is why do I have to even do a citation? Why can't I just use the link? Well the problem is links have a tendency to break if the website goes down, um, if the URL changes for some reason. So you want to include all the same information that you would for a book or other kind of source like the author, the title, and the date of publication. So let's take a look here. So the first thing I want you to notice is that when you open up EasyBib, um, it often will have it started out on MLA 7. That's not correct. You want the current edition MLA 8, so make sure you click on that. Then find the website that you want. Okay, I've got an article here from CNN, so I'm going to copy and paste that URL right into this box here. I'm going to click Cite It. And EasyBib is pulling information from that article automatically to make it easier for me to make this citation. All right, so it found my article, so I click Cite This Again. All right, and it's telling me that it found a lot of information for me. So I'll continue to the final step. All right, so let's see what EasyBib has for us. It says the source type is content originally published on a website. That's correct, CNN.com originally published it on a website. Now, one thing I noticed about this article title is it, oh, it didn't find the author. Now, don't assume that it doesn't have an author just because EasyBib didn't find it. Let's check our website for the author. Okay, I see on the website it says right here, by Holly Yan, CNN. So the author's name is Holly Yan. So I'll just go back to EasyBib and type her name right here. All right, I'm looking here. It says the website title is CNN. That's right. The publisher is Cable News Network. That's correct. It found the URL for me, which I put in there. And now it says I need to put in the date it was electronically published. So let's look back at the website again. And this says it was last updated on March 3rd, 2017. So that's what I can put in here. So the date is 3. Oh. The month is March. And the year is 2017. I'll click here to create citation. All right, and now it's showing me the citation that it's made for me. Well, it looks like it has corrected the um, capitalization of the title. That's good. And I can copy and paste that into my Word document. It has this weird gray highlighting here. If I just click uh, my paste options here, click merge formatting, and I'll change it back to Times New Roman 12 point like I want. So I check my capitalization, I check my italics, everything looks great, so I am good to go. Thank you very much.